Are yes. you guys ready for moving Let's pictures? Let's try it. So I thought it might be a fun thing to do to take a look at some of the movies that are coming up in the next few weeks, some of the potential blockbusters. And of course, everyone loves those Marvel characters, right? So we're going to start off with the Avengers. It's called Infinity Wars. Tell me his name again. Thanos. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we use. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way, it might be really good. Wow. Well, they say if you want to know what's going on, you should probably see the uh, five or 12 pictures before this so you know all the characters. I'll give you the list of characters. Check this out. Tom Holland, Spider-Man, Chadwick Boseman is in Black Panther, Scarlett Johansson, Chris Hemsworth, Josh Brolin, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Pratt, Benedict Cumberbatch, oh, Vin my. Diesel, Jeremy Renner, Benicio Del Toro, and it is directed by Clevelanders, Anthony and Joe Russo. So mm. how did they pay all these people to make one movie? That's it is a, yeah. Look at that. They probably had to give a couple bucks out to the extras also. But this is opening on the 27th, I believe, of uh, April. And uh, this is one of those movies that everybody is very excited about, yes. especially if you're a Marvel person and all these crazy Marvel characters. Unbelievable. Next, Deadpool 2. Now, cue the music. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Tell me they got that in slow motion. Doing the right thing is messy. But if you want to fight for what's right, sometimes you have to fight dirty. And that is why the man bun is just a millennial mullet. Oh, God, I wish I finished college. Okay, if you don't like like Marvel type characters, you don't like super characters, you don't like these kind of movies at all, this movie is really for you because Ryan Reynolds turns this whole genre upside down. He's the wisecracking, foul-mouthed hero. And that's about the best way to describe him. I mean, sure. This thing gets downright dirty in a way, but it's always so funny. There's a scene in this thing, Josh Brolin, I think, is the villain in this one. There's a scene in this where he's trying to change his clothes like Superman in a phone booth, and he can't get out of the phone booth. The scene okay. lasts about 30 seconds, 40 seconds. It's like, it's hilarious. So it is terrific. You want to go oh, uh, Star Wars? You guys like Star Wars? Sure. This one's Why called not? Solo, a Star Wars story. My name's Cable. You look good. A little rough around the edges, but good. Heard about a job. Big shot gangster putting together crew. I'm a driver. And I'm a flyer. I waited a long time for a shot like this. What do you think? Uh, well, what do you know? You this goes back to when Han Solo meets Chewbacca. Yes. That's right. Harrison Ford is a youth, so okay. that's how far it's taking us back. And a lot of action there. And uh, you were asked about that young lady, Amelia Clark. You know who she is and why you think you know her? Why? From the other movie, from Deadpool. She is the mother of dragons on Game of Thrones. Oh, but okay. But she looks so different with the black hair okay. rather than the blonde hair. So uh, D D Donald Glover is in this. Tandy Newton is in this. And uh, I think... Uh, I thought I've had enough Star Wars. I was watching these clips from this movie. I'm ready to see this, so I think I think it could be a lot of fun. Check it out. Star Wars is oh, back, and like that is going to be a monster. So now we had something for uh, maybe for a different crowd that's not in this type of movie. Oh, yeah, I saw some other guys in this movie you recognize. Let's check out Ocean's 8. You're going to like this. In three and a half weeks, the Met will be hosting its annual ball. And we are going to rob it. Not the ball itself, but the neck of Daphne Kluger. Valued at over a hundred million dollars. The 150 million, actually. <laughs> Taylor Swift? Can't we just go to this? Do we have to steal stuff? Yes. yes. Well, if you want to talk about the roots of the scene, it goes all the way back to Frank Sinatra, the Rat Pack. Ocean's Eleven, that was Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and then it molded into George Clooney and Brad Pitt and Matt Damon. A whole bunch of really cool people in that. And now the ladies are in the game. And we're talking about Sandra Bullock, Clayton uh, Blanchett, Anne Hathaway, Rihanna, James Corden, Matt Damon, Carl Reiner, the Kardashians, can you believe that? Oh, oh man. And Helena Bonham Carter. So this one is stacked full of big time talent. It's going to be that kind of summer, so it should be fun. There's some things happening at the movies you might, and you can buy advanced ticket sales now. And some of those, like Avengers and such like that, you should probably buy tickets 
a week before it opens. Okay.